Hi guys, Daniel John here, and back with another one of our how-to videos. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you how you change an outside tap. As you can see, this is an older tap, and the problem we've got with it is, is it leaks around here, and it also leaks on the top. The water comes up, and as you can see, it's loose and worn. There's a few options with this. We can take it apart and replace the washer, the tap valve, the tap valve slash washer, um, or we can replace the whole unit with one of these. This was eight pounds from Screwfix. There's a couple of ones um, available. This one has the valve inside to stop the water from outside going back in. So you may want to fit that if it's just a straight pipe going in. In all honesty, a new valve is about six pounds a single one. The set is two. There wasn't a price difference between them. If uh, this is eight pounds. I decided to get that just for the brand just for new safety. Tap. You might just replace the tap. So we're just going to show you what tools you'll need to replace it and a few little tips etc But when replacing the, the new one. Ideally some mould grips, ideally, and a spanner. If you haven't got a set of these, I'd recommend about £15 to buy. These are Irwin really good. And you just basically want to put that on the back of the tap. This bit. And you want, and then your spanner there. And the reason we're putting that on the back there is you don't want to be ripping any copper pipe off or damaging yep. the bracket. And literally then, have a little squirt of that beforehand. So beforehand I would probably clean up any gunk that's yeah. on the connection piece and give it a bit of penetrating oil if it's really You'll see been on there for years. You muck here. Somebody's put some filler in there. Yeah, someone's filled it with some plumber's mate or something. So there should be a washer there and that's important. So basically there should be a washer in between these two but somebody's gone and filled it with a load of... Which doesn't help. So And literally you would do that, come off. Yep. Obviously we've had this off before so, but just take your time and taking idea. it on. So the next the next step to this would be to go inside, just clean the thread up inside. Yeah. Just as, so when you thread the new one in, it's nice and clean. It seals properly. Right. And on to the next part. So the end of these have got the thread, new thread, and what you want to do. Is get so this is this is PTFE tape, and that's about a pound something. You yep. pull a piece off like that, and you twist it round and you put it in between the threads. That's how you do that. Don't put too much and don't put too little, just thread a hole to the first to the last yeah. bit of the thread. The other thing, keeping your cover, this is about five pounds, LSX. And it looks a bit like silicon. This stuff will dry in water as well. It's handy it stuff to have. Yeah, it works. It really, uh, take it from me, you won't have any leaks ever with this. We don't really need to put this on, but we're just doing it just for a belt right. and braces approach. On the old one, if you can find the old one, it flew up, flew on the floor. Here we go, yep. Had this muck around it there, you can see what somebody's done. Yeah. What well, you should have it on it is a washer. This is important because if you don't put this on, your tap won't seal to this and it won't be straight. It won't be straight, no, because you need to tighten difference. it up too much, don't you? So. Now, the washers we've got are the tool station, fibre and rubber washer pack. Probably about ten pounds. Yeah. Something like that now, I don't know, but last year lifetime. So that goes on there. And screw on. So we've got the PTFE tape, we've got the L LXS, mm. and we've got a nylon washer. Mm. You can see the that's going off already. And it is nice and tight. So there. what we'll do now is we'll keep the mold grips on it. We don't want to rip this off the wall, we just want to tighten the actual tap up. Now, with this one you're going to have to go to the bottom. A bit smaller, because you can't get around the top. And basically you want it straight, and that's it. And there we go, new tap fit. Actually yeah. that could do tighten up a little bit more if you could. But so yeah, straight. So yeah. If I tighten up too much more, it's gonna be Oh of course, yeah. So I think the pipe works off a bit, yeah. That's, that's the problem. As much as I go, so a little wipe around here. Bear in mind somebody else has put the pipe work in. You can only do the best thing you've got. Just give it a few minutes for that to stop the LSX to go off if you do happen to use it. Um and then it's it's done really. What I would suggest while the water's off, undo your tap. Just a little squirt in there. Bit of WD-40, bit of penetrating oil. And uh, do that every six months or so. And that's basically it. 
that's your new tack fit, outside tack fitted. So if you haven't got the tools, it's always handy to have tools, but if you have got the tools and you want to put a new tap on, it's eight pounds. It'd be worth investing in some tools. So let's just recap what we used. Uh, we used some WD-40. And we cleaned it to clean the old, old tap off, didn't we? We had some PTFE tape. Yep. Had some LSX. This is really good stuff. I this, if you get that. a little leak in your um, house or anything, it's also ideal for sealing these sort of things up. Yeah. Back on there. Yeah. Stuff like yeah. that. Ideally, set of mold grips. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be as big as this. A uh, spanner. The only other thing I would say that's quite important. You need that. A uh, brass brush or nylon brush. And. You definitely need that. If you can't get your tap up straight, just put another one on. It'll just pad it out for you. The only other thing, the little tip I'd give you, you've also got to isolate your water. Isolate your water first before taking Inside. that off. If you've got a stock cock that you simply can't turn off, um, what you need to do is squirt it with some of them, clean around where the tap is, and by that I mean around here. With a soft brush, yeah. Leave it a few hours. E even soap. leave it overnight, yeah. just so it can soak through. And what you find often with these with uh, stock cops, somebody's wound it right out. You shouldn't do that. You should wind it out and then turn it in. If you're trying to free one up, squirt it and then just try and open it and then turn it yeah. off. And that's really it. Anyway, I hope uh, the information we've given you is going to be useful. Has been useful for you and. Uh, We've helped you get your outside water back on. If you'd subscribe to our channel, it'd be appreciated. One more thing before I go. We are not plumbers. We're just putting it out there how we replace tap uh, on pipe work somebody else has already fitted. Yeah, someone else has fitted that nice. Thanks for watching. All right, see you later.